welcome guys so let's see a very good set today and now before starting that uh, we have just started our first batch uh, you can see the complete description about the course and what we all offer the link is there in the description section and also you can contact on the number given in the description section now let's see this set in a shop five articles pqrst are to be sold the cost price and the selling price of each of the five articles are among 650 700 750 850 and 900 so these are the cost price and the selling price the cost price of each article is different and the selling price of each article is different fine uh, for any article the selling price is not equal to the cost price so this makes it very clear that in each of the transaction of the article it would be either a profit or loss now we have some more information let's read that the first point says that the cost price of article R is equal to the selling price of article T while the selling price of R as well as while selling R as well as T the shopkeeper incurred a loss. Okay. So this is completely you know just giving equations and prof probable losses and profit. Second pro point is the cost price of Q is more than that of S again it's comparison and the shopkeeper obtained a profit by selling Q. Fine. So by this point of time, we can see that, you know, we can make a table of selling price, cost price, and in which case profit is there, loss is there, and so on. By seeing the option, that is what it is required, in fact, in the whole set. So let's quickly make a table, a simple table for the same. So this is a table. Let's try to put the information that we had. The first point was that the cost price of article R is equal to the selling price of article T. So cost price of article R, so if this is X, this is X, while the selling article R and T incurred a loss, so there would be a loss here, there would be a loss here. Now what further we can make from this point, uh, if there is a loss and this is the cost price, which is X, so X cannot take a value which equals to 650. Why? Because any value over here would definitely be greater than 650 and loss will not be a possibility. Similarly over here x cannot take 900 if there if x equals to 900 any value over here would definitely be less than 900 and loss is not possible. So x cannot take these two values. So quickly you have to make such things or inference. Now second point was that the cost price of q is more than that of s. So over here let's name it as y and this is at z. So what we can make is that y is definitely greater than z and shopkeeper obtained a profit by selling Q. So by selling Q, this would be a profit. Fine. Now, if this is a profit, what further we can make that Y cannot be equal to 652, right? Why Y cannot be a 650 because Y has to be greater than Z. So Y cannot take the least value. Y cannot be 650. Also, Y cannot be 900 because if Y is 900, any value over here would be less than 900 because 900 is our maximum value and uh, we cannot have profit in that case. So Y cannot be 900. Sorry, it is 900 in that case also. 900. Fine. Anything about Z? No. no. Z cannot be 900. I can write like Z also cannot be 900. Fine. Uh, let's see further. Third point, it says that the profit made by selling any article is more than 50. It has to be more than 50. And all the numbers is in multiple of 15. The profit made by any two article is not same. Again, in instructional line or information, the loss incurred by any two article is also not same. So this complete third point was instructional point that we will use for setting the values or fixing the values in this table. Again, let's see fourth point, it says that only two articles uh, the shopkeeper made a profit now we have seen that an article can either make a loss or a profit so when it says that only two articles made a profit it indirectly also means that uh, three articles will make loss and two articles will make profit fine this makes sense the profit and loss made by any article is not 150 so this value 150 will not be taken into the account Fine. Now, from third point, we can see that uh, we have various values for the profit, which will be more than 50 and 150 cannot be included. So what are the possible values of the profit and losses? So if we just look for the profit, what are the possible values that we can have? We cannot have 50, we'll have 100. Uh, we cannot have 150. Okay. Can you have 200? Yes, we can have 200. And 250? Yes, we can have 250. 
300 and now 300 is not possible because the number does not allow that limit to cross so profit these are the three possible values fine now for the losses we can have 50 because there is no restriction for the loss it was just for the profit we can have 100 we can have 200 we will not have 150 because it's given over here and 250 fine okay as of now in this table we know that we can have two losses is fixed one profit is fixed fine now how to start because the information given is very minimum now if we look into the information that or the inference that we have made uh, we can see that uh, we are more talking about 650 is not possible for x 650 is not possible for y okay also over here in this row if we look into this row as this cell it cannot take the value of 650 right because if it, if it takes the value of 650 the value of x would definitely be greater than 650 and loss is not possible so in this cell we cannot have 650 z z can have 650 and this cell can have 650 so there are two possible cases for 650 so we can start with over here you know that is the best thing that we can do also we'll have to use these numbers for fixing the values so that's let's see so let's take a case when z equals to 650 so let me change an ink uh, because i'll be using two cases when 650 is over here when 650 is over here so let's take a first case of when z equals to 650 so when z equals to 650 so when z equals to 650 over here so when uh, this is 650 this makes it very clear that for article s uh, there would be a profit because any value in this cell would definitely be greater than 650 and this would be a profit so now we have got two profit so this one would be a loss fine okay now z value of z we have got that is 650 we have some relation between y and z that y is greater than z so what are the possible values of y possible values of y would be 700 750 and 850 right uh, now uh, three possible values let's see uh, if we can you know eliminate some of the values can y take 850 now, if y takes 850 if it has to make a profit then selling price would be 900 the profit would be of 50 but that is not possible so 850 value will definitely be not considered now we have 700 and 750 okay so let's see that if y equals to 700 and the profit that y uh, the profit that would can be made is 100 200 and 250 so 100 we cannot have because 800 is not there in the number 200 we can have 200 250 we cannot have so only number that can come fine so the profit we got is 200 is taken now let's see we cannot have uh, over here in s if we need to find the profit we cannot take 250 because 900 is already there if we take 250 as profit for s this s has to be then the selling price of s has to be 900 which is not possible so only possible value for this the profit has to be 100 then the selling price would be 750 fine now the selling price is now 750 now what are the possible values of x now to make a note that we have taken the value of y equals to 700 we have not taken this case of 750 now what is the possible value of x x uh, cannot take 650 already taken 700 not possible 750 850 okay uh, what are the possible values uh, let me write it down uh, x can take 750 or x can take 850 750 or 850 but i can see that in my first column x cannot take 750 because in this column 750 has already been taken so the value of x that has to be taken is 850 850 so 850 if i take value of x as 850 this would be 850 right now to incur loss we'll have to put any value uh, greater than uh, greater than 850 so 900 would be over here right 900 would be over here and what is the value which is remaining what is the value which is remaining over here in this particular row of cost price that is 750 right 
Now, what are the losses values that we have already got? We 900 to 50. So this value of loss has already been taken. Now let's see what are the values that we can take in the cells left. So if we look into this column, uh, what value I can take? Uh, 50 is already taken. So if I take 100, I'll have to put 650 and that is the only thing that I can take. Can I take 200? No, that would be 550, which is not there. So this is 650. Now, if this is 650, uh, what is remaining? What is remaining is 700, right? 700. And if I take this 700, because this is the only value, the loss for R would be 150, which is not possible. So our complete assumption of taking Y equals to 700 is wrong, right? So a little hit and trial, uh, you'll have to do a little hit and trial. So this makes it very clear that Y would be equal to 750. Now when Y equals to 750, and it has to make a profit of 100, 200 or 250. So only possible number is 100 because if it takes 200, that would be more than 900. So this would be 850. Fine. Now, as S has to make profit, S has to make profit. And definitely if one of the product making profit would have the highest price. So the pricing over here would be 900. So if this is 900, this is 250. So taken. Now, uh, what is the possible value of X? So only possible value that X can take is 700. Why? Because 850 and 900 is already taken in this row. 750 and 650 is already taken in this row. So X can only take 700. So X equals to 700. X would equal to 700 over here. So when X equals to 700, so this product R or article R, as it has to incur a loss. So the only value that, in, that can come in this cell is 650. So 50 of this loss, we can cross this or we can take this. Now, how to go further? Now, let's see the product T. For product T, what can be the possible value in this cell? Can I, if 50 is already, a loss of 50 is already taken. If I take loss of 100, so I'll have to put value A equals to 800, which is not there. So I cannot take 150 because, uh, so if I take 200, so I'll have to put 900 over here. And I cannot make it to 250 because that would increase the value. So if I take 200, so this would be 900, the only possible value. Now in this complete cell, what is remaining is, what is remaining is 850. And in this complete cell, what is remaining is 750. Now this is giving a loss of 100. So this over here, and let me check the other loss. This is giving me a loss of 50. This is giving me a loss of 200. So that's perfectly fine. Now, if you look into option, uh, you can answer all the question because uh, we'll have just one set. Now, in the very beginning, what I take uh, in the case, the first case which I took was that making this as 650. 650 had two possibilities that it can come over here in this cell or it could have come over here. Now, by just seeing the option, I can see that I can answer all the question because cannot be determined is not any one of the options so i can answer all the question let's try to do that even if you you know uh, take 650 in this cell and try to make a case uh, somewhere you know you'll hit that you cannot go further so let's try to answer the question now answering is very easy what is the selling price of article p that is 750 what is the difference between the cost price and selling price of article s cost price and selling price of article s that is 250 what is the article selling price or who's are 700 that is article t which of the following is true the selling price of s is 700 no the cost price the profit made by selling price of p is 200 no in fact it is getting a loss the cost price of t is 750 is not 750 so this is correct None of these, no, this is correct. So that's all. So you just have to see what are the information we have and how to link further and make cases and move. Uh, so it is a little trick here. It may take a time, but that's completely okay. You know, that's, we do not have much information to get more, much confused. Thank you.